A tracheostomy tube is an artificial airway which bypasses a person's upper airway. The tracheostomy tube is inserted directly into the trachea via a surgically created hole called a stoma. When a person with a tracheostomy tube vomits, precautions need to be taken to prevent vomit from being aspirated. Normally, when a person vomits, the vomit is propelled up the esophagus, through the mouth, and out into the environment. However, with having a tracheostomy tube, there is a danger the vomit may go down the trachea and into the lungs. This is called aspiration. The number one risk factor for aspirating vomit is laying down when vomiting. If the person is sick and or feels as though he's going to vomit, please sit the person upright. Also, position the head so that it is slightly downward. This will aid in the vomit being expelled out of the body and will lessen the possibility the vomit remains in the mouth. If vomit remains in the mouth, there is a possibility it could travel down the airway and into the lungs. If a person is able to go to the toilet and vomit, please encourage the person to do so. Leaning forward over the toilet is perhaps the best position to be in when vomiting. If a person has a cuff tracheostomy tube, it is helpful to deflate the cuff on the tracheostomy tube. To deflate the cuff, attach an empty syringe to the pilot line. Push down with the syringe to activate the spring inside the pilot line. While pushing down, pull back on the syringe to withdraw the contents from the cuff. When the syringe stops, detach the syringe from the pilot line. Deflating the cuff on the tracheostomy tube makes it easier for a person to vomit. However, if the person becomes abruptly ill, it is better to take the time to get the person into the correct position than worrying about deflating the cuff. I have been nervous that I might aspirate if I vomited with the cuff on my tracheostomy tube inflated. However, a few years ago, I was severely sick with a bowel obstruction. I ended up vomiting several times with the cuff on my tracheostomy tube inflated. I vomited just fine with the cuff inflated. With that said, if I feel nauseous or start to feel as though I'm going to throw up, I always deflate the cuff on my tracheostomy tube. Although I have vomited safely with an inflated tracheostomy tube cuff, I want to do everything I can to vomit safely. With the cuff on the tracheostomy tube inflated, it pushes against the esophagus. This creates a narrowing in the esophagus and may make it a little bit more difficult to vomit than if the cuff on the tracheostomy tube is deflated. Someone asked me if the tracheostomy tube should be removed before vomiting. The answer is no. Please do not remove the tracheostomy tube. Keep it in place. Vomiting is often a violent affair. With that being said, it can cause the tracheostomy tube to move. After a person vomits, check the placement of the tracheostomy tube. For me, I will pull slightly on my tracheostomy tube tie. I then will gently press the tracheostomy tube back into the airway. Please also monitor the person for 5 to 10 minutes after he vomits to make sure his airway is not being obstructed either by the tracheostomy tube or by vomit. For a child or someone who cannot manage his own tracheostomy tube, suctioning after a person vomits may be beneficial to rid the airway of vomit. It is always best to suction to make sure no vomit has gone down into the airway. If you manage your own tracheostomy tube, you should be able to feel if vomit has gone down your airway. The vomit will burn and will cause pain and may elicit a cough. If this happens, please suction the airway. If you are not sure if you have aspirated, it is always best to suction to make sure no vomit has gone down into the airway. For me, I have vomited a number of times. I have never felt pain or discomfort in my airway after vomiting. Thus, I have never suctioned after vomiting. After vomiting, a small amount of vomit and or stomach acid will remain in the mouth. Please rinse out the mouth with water several times to get rid of the vomit and stomach acid in the mouth. 
If the person is not able to rinse out his mouth, please suction the mouth to remove any stomach acid or vomit. After vomiting, there is a chance a person may aspirate his vomit. Please watch the person carefully for a few days for any signs or symptoms of aspiration pneumonia. Symptoms may include fever, cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue, and or a change in his sputum color. If any of these symptoms of aspiration pneumonia is seen, please seek immediate medical attention. I hope this information helps in case you or your loved one vomits. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Recently, I've been quite sick. I've had a cold and then also some sort of virus that made me incredibly sick. I had a terrible headache, fever, shaking chills. My entire body felt like it was on fire. My joints hurt, my muscles hurt, and I was very, very nauseous. Well, I was on vacation when this occurred. I did not want to miss any of my vacation because I was sick. We decided we were gonna go on a little bus tour of the area, and I thought, well, this should be okay because I'm just gonna be sitting in a bus. Well, it was not. I decided the tour started at 9.30 and at 9.32. It was very clear I had made a mistake. I should not have been on the bus. I tried really hard to just not think about vomiting, but I knew vomit was gonna come up. So I immediately deflated the cup on my tracheostomy tube. I got a plastic bag, but I failed to realize there was a giant rip in the plastic bag and it was conveniently at the bottom of the bag so when the time occurred and I needed to ex, ex, uh, expire exhale something rid my body of the stomach contents that were making me sick I threw up and I was like oh my bag Ugh. and it went all over my pants all over the seat Mm, it even got on my ventilator tubing. Not pleasant. But I thought, well, it's okay. You know, at least I tried to catch it. Well, then my body decided to throw up two more times. That was not pleasant because now it was a really big mess. And I felt really bad because there was vomit all over the place. <laughs> Thankfully, the bus driver, his name is Steven, Hi, Steven. I know you're not watching this, but hi. <laughs> he was really kind and he got me wet wipes and paper toweling and a trash bag to get rid of all the bodily fluids. <laughs> he was really kind and nice about it. And he kept asking me throughout the rest of the tour if I was okay. And I was just like, uh-huh. And I really was not. I was so sick. <laughs> but that was just my recent experience with vomiting. And it's part of the inspiration for this. Somebody else also just email me about vomiting with the tracheostomy tube and I thought well vomit's on my mind let's go make a video about vomit won't that be exciting thanks so much for joining me bye